So here we are at the beginning of the test. The athlete wearing the mouthpiece is ready to go. Press the SRM box just to record the file. And the athlete picks up the cadence, overcoming the somewhat heavy resistance at the beginning. But it's fine once the flywheel gets spinning. Because the athlete has to overcome the inertia of the flywheel at the beginning of the test, it takes a little bit of time for the power to get to the target power. You can see it's above 200 at the moment, but it will soon settle. <laughs> Power's started to settle down now, and the athlete is just given some guidance on what cadence to pedal at during the test. Normally around 90 to 95 is good. Let's take a look at the protocol. As you can see, we're starting the test off at 200 watts. This is for two minutes, just while all the system's steady. Then, what we do is we set the computer so that the power increases by 5 watts every 12 seconds. In other words, 25 watts per minute. This allows a smoother rate of increase. And this is why we call it a ramp test, a smooth ramp test. During the protocol, all the athlete has to worry about is keeping his cadence steady. The computer does the rest. And here is the SRM screen. The top figure, the 197, is the actual power. Below that is the target power. And we've also got the cadence and the heart rate. Of course, we need to measure oxygen uptake. And here's the Medisoft screen showing the traces. The breath by breath system allows us to measure not only oxygen uptake, but carbon dioxide and ventilation too. By 300 watts, the athlete is now consuming nearly 4 litres of oxygen and shifting about 100 litres of air in and out of his lungs each minute. One of the determinants of how much oxygen we can consume in a minute is how much oxygen we can carry in the blood. And this is how we measure that. See the pulse oximeter on the index finger? It tells us oxygen saturation and also heart rate. At 360 watts, the athlete may now find effective ventilation of the lungs challenging. The partial pressure of oxygen reduces and oxygen saturation begins to drop from the 99% saturated value seen at low intensity exercise and rest to lower figures. At 370 watts, the athlete is now using about 4.3 litres of oxygen in every minute. We've now got enough data to plot this graph, and as you can see, as the power output increases, oxygen uptake also increases in a linear fashion. At 200 watts, he's using 2.5 litres per minute, while at 400 watts, he uses 4.5 litres per minute. This allows us to calculate that he uses approximately 10 millilitres of oxygen for every watt he's producing. Heart rate, shown here in this graph in the blue line, also develops in a linear fashion. Brilliant, Paddy, come on. Hold it there, brilliant. Good work, good work, come on. We're coming into the last minute of the test now, and you can visibly see how hard the athlete is having to work. The breathing rate is really increased and you can see the body movement increasing too. The data also tells us that the test is coming towards the end. Look how the blue line is flattening off, demonstrating a plateau in oxygen uptake. Fantastic. 
It's now all about giving the athlete as much encouragement as possible, just trying to get the power output as high as they possibly can. He's focused on the screen. He's trying to keep his cadence high. He knows the end is in sight. Excellent stuff. Come on, Paddy. Come on, come on, come on. Well done. Well done. With the test over, it's time to make sure we've got the data saved. And let's take a look at that data. His highest VO2 was 4.5 litres of oxygen per minute at a maximum minute power of 402 watts. The maximum heart rate we saw in the test was 191 beats per minute. This athlete did show hypoxemia, his saturation going down to 93% by the end of the test. This screenshot is taken from the download of the SRM ergometer after the test is finished. Heart rate is in red and power is at the bottom of the screen in green. You can see both increasing throughout the test. This also shows nicely how we calculate the maximum minute power, taking the last minute of the test, 402 watts. A good score and a good test. Well done.